Welcome back to the Counterman Education Center. We have all heard someone say, wow, that car was totally out of control. Well, today we're going to dive into a component that is designed specifically to keep the vehicle in control. It is the control arm. To start, let's look at what a control arm does for the vehicle. It provides a mounting place for the control arm to mount to the vehicle frame. These mountings usually have large bolts and use bushings to eliminate noise vibration and harshness associated with road vibrations. At the other end of the control arm, there is a mounting that allows the spindle to attach. On a conventional suspension, there will also be upper and lower control arms. In each will be a ball joint that allows the spindle to rotate, which allows the steering of the vehicle. On a vehicle with McPherson strut suspension, the upper control arm is replaced by the strut, which is supported on the top with a mount to the body and a strut bearing. On a conventional suspension, the control arm also houses the coil spring, which allows the up and down movement to be dampened. This keeps the tire firmly planted on the road at all times. This is a key function of the suspension since it allows for turning, stopping, and smoothing out the ride. Symptoms of failing control arms can include, but are not limited to, vibration, wandering, clunking or creaking, and uneven tire wear. They all require bushings or joints where they attach to other components. The most common bushings are rubber, inexpensive and functional, but not as durable as some of the newer materials being used. Some control arms come with replaceable bushings and some do not. Ball joints on the end of the control arms are available in many different configurations. Some require grease and some do not. The ones that do not require grease are marked as lubricated for life. The main difference is internally, some are metal on metal, while others are metal on polymers. Control arms are taken for granted many times. When it's time though, there's no wasting time to do the repair. It doesn't matter which type of suspension is on the vehicle, there is work to be done on the springs. These repairs that involve springs require certain safety procedures. Be sure your customer is aware of these risks and has the proper tools for the repair. I hope that brings you in control of the control arm discussion. We'll see you next time.